Man, this is no fun. I want to play with friends. Wait a second. I know how to do that. What's up, YouTube? Kerr here. I'm going to show you how to set up a multiplayer server that you host from your own computer that you can play with your friends. Um, let's get started. So, w the whole point here is that you can set up a server, play with your friends, and have like the TP uh, A ability, set home ability, even set up shops, stuff like that if you really wanted to. Uh, so, what you need are two websites to go to to get this started. In order to allow plugins, you need Spigot or Bucket, Craft Bucket, same thing. Click on Downloads here, uh, and then you can try the Spigot.jar for 1.7.9. Uh, if you're running a, an older uh, version, the one I know works well without any hitches is 1387. Click on Spigot.jar here, and then it'll download. I already downloaded it so uh, we'll move on to the next site just Google essentials bucket B U K K I T you'll come across this page click download here and then it will download actually <laughs> you'll come across this page and then click download there and then you click download there so after you download those two files you'll you'll get these uh, folders jar files right there what you want to do is you want to create a folder name this whatever you want it really doesn't matter MC server is the name of the game on this one and then we'll take these two files just drag and drop them in here I need you to create a text document so we'll name this start open that up in the description below I'll have this information but that's what you need to run the jar file never double click on the spigot.jar it's not gonna do anything so after you put that in there click save as and then on the bottom remove txt put bat and save double click on the start.bat it's gonna run through uh, it could take up to 60 seconds depending on your computer my computer's not bad but it'll still take about 20 seconds um, but this is all normal if you see it kind of cycle through with percentage signs it's going to develop or create three worlds and then you're done after it loads up you're going to type stop uh, in this screen so it took 17 for me I type stop it's going to save it safely and then it says press any key to continue so after we do that we want to extract the essentials.zip folder and then here it is so <clears throat> you get a few of these if you want to play with them fine um, but we really just want the essentials.jar so we're gonna put essentials.jar in the plugins folder there now what we want to do is type in or sorry uh, click on the start.bat folder again this time we got the plugin and it's going to show that it's loaded as well so we'll wait for it to come up you'll see it goes much faster here uh, and then right here on the top it says enabling essentials and it says done this time it only took three seconds so you're good to go as far as the uh, the home server goes right if you're creating this on your own computer all you have to do is add server type in local host and then here we go we are in like Flint nice little snow biome alright so things like uh, set home will work which is great you could even do things like kit so now uh, by default essentials has a kit name tools there you go pretty simple right let's move on to uh, getting it set up so your friends can join so <clears throat> two things you gotta do you have to know your external IP address it's not the 192 or 172 uh, it's gonna be your IP address that connects to uh, 
that your modem connects to the internet. Now uh, you can go to whatismyip.org and you'll see in the blue box uh, information of course this is blocked out for me because uh, this is my information. A lot of haters in the building. That you need to write down. If you have a Netgear, I know for a fact you can just go and log into your router. If you don't know how to log into your router, um, go to your router itself and it shows login information. Click on the advanced tab and then go to uh, advanced setup, I'm sorry, to the top right internet port, you're gonna see IP address, that's your IP address. And then click on advanced setup, port forwarding, port triggering. Now I already had this set up before, but all you need to do is add custom service, and by default, um, Minecraft's port for multiplayer is 25565. Type that in, in the starting and ending, and then here you can name it whatever you want. You can just do MC. Now uh, it shows my IP address is the dot two, and then click apply. Anyway, back to here. If I were to type in, uh, or what you want your friends to type in, is the address from the whatismyip.com. So you just go to add server and in the server address here you type that in or your friends type that in. They'll be able to connect as long as you set up the port forwarding. So that's it. If, if you want it just to be able to TP to each other and do that, it's done. If you have any questions, let me know. I will help you out. As always, till next time.